Well, what I'm hearing in Ward 5 is that we not only have a, well, we have a drainage problem, and standing water is part of the drainage problem. Uh, we have drainage coming from other people's property down into somebody else's property and then standing because because what I've discovered is that in most of the roads in Ward 5 we have no 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 uh, path for the water to go. We just have a road that meets the other side of the road and what we would call gutters uh, for water, water to run, there is none. And so water just um, stands. And if you know anything about standing water, you also now have mosquitoes. So I would suggest that now that they are paving roads, because the city of Rock Hill is doing some paving in Ward 5, that they put in some sort of gutter so that the water can run. And that they're making sure that the road is elevated on that side or lowered on that side so the water would run. Uh, and then what I'm also seeing is that uh, where the water goes in to the storm drains, that there are, uh, the storm drain is there, but the water is missing the storm drain. So again, a path needs to be made so that water is running into the drains. I think that if some of these things were looked at and possibly worked on, and I don't think that it would take a, a major coup or whatever to get some of this done because after all they are paving the road so just add a small gutter so that the water can run and I think that would be part of the problem. So if we're paving the roads, put in the gutters so that, that the water will run. Make sure that the road is elevated or lowered on that side so the water will run. And I think that that would stop some of the standing water and then that would stop some of the water from just backing up into other people's yards and that kind of thing. So I think that would be one, one way to solve some of the storm water issues. I'm not real sure <laughs> if my science is correct, but I, I'm thinking that that would work. The people of Ward 5 are thinking more than just storm water damage. The people of Ward 5 are thinking about abandoned houses. The people in Ward 5 are thinking about how they're being treated by the police department. The people in Ward 5 are thinking about drainage, but they're also thinking about the potholes that they have in their streets. These are the concerns that I too have for Ward 5. If I have those concerns, and the people of Ward 5 have those concerns, then we can get together and try to solve some of these problems. But you see, we also have good things. We have roads that are coming in, that are being wide. We have street lights that have now gone from Cherry Road to 72 on Happy Boulevard. We have some stores that are coming in which means that our, our ward is growing, and our ward is going to be, and should be, because after all, we have some of the, the best locations in this city. The, the ward is, is very much diverse. Um, what, what I do see, uh, I think in the forum I talked about absentee landlords, and absentee landlords in portions of the city where we have older adults. Uh, not a lot of children, just older adults, subtle adults, uh, adults who have retired. And with uh, them having houses that are boarded up or houses that are just standing and nobody's taking care of it, that of course depreciates their property. But also that causes a problem because people who are, 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 are walking the streets or, or who are seeking somewhere to hide out or, or kids who want some place to play or want some place to go and have their little sessions, uh, they, they habitat in these, these houses. They, they go there, and especially at night. And this causes uh, a kind of uh, unsettling for the, the older adults. They are not safe in their own neighborhood, in a neighborhood that used to be a safe neighborhood where they could sit on the porch, where they could stand in the yard, where they could talk to their neighbors. So that, that is also a problem that I'm looking at. We do have that, that inspection, but it takes too long. Uh, for them to find the absentee landlord, uh, find out what they want to do with the house or whatever, 
declare that it is uh, uh, uninhabitable, uh, that we need to tear it down. It takes too long. It needs to be shortened. I'm not sure if it can be shortened, but I, I'd like to see us look at it and see that these houses go quickly, uh, go quickly and efficiently. Now, I've seen them tear down a house in a day and clean up the lot, and it looks real good, okay? But then we have another problem because now the lot is empty. Who cuts the grass? Who takes care of that lot? It goes to sale, it goes to auction, um, <clears throat> which is all well and good, but that takes time also. So we've got to, we've got to put some, <coughs> excuse me, we've got to put something else there when the house is torn down. Sure. So we've gotten rid of the house, now the lot is still. Then of course we're, we're looking at uh, things to do in Ward 5. One of the things that I would like to see is I would like to see somebody open a restaurant, a restaurant that serves good food after 6 o'clock, say uh, 5 to 9, uh, somewhere where you could go and sit down, have a good meal, uh, talk, uh, entertain other people. Uh, I, I'm certain that, that whatever, whoever has a good idea, a good good uh, business plan, they could do well in Ward 5 because people are looking for places to go. They don't want to go to the mall area. They don't want to go to Cherry Road. They don't want to go to Manchester Village. They want to stay in their own ward. Uh, these are homebodies. <laughs> they don't want to leave the ward. And of course we are a big ward and we're spread all over the place. And, and we, we've got to do something about um, making sure that the streets are clean, that lots are clean, that we have a good appearance in our ward. Because certainly, we're proud. Uh, we do need a grocery store, okay? We have Bilo, which is down on the lower end of uh, 72121, what some people call East uh, Main Street. That Bilo is going to stay open while the others are being closed. Uh, we have food line there. But both of them are in the same area. We need something down on the lower part of Saluda, down that way. Because whether you know it or not, there's a big explosion down there. We have houses, we have Roddy Plantation, we have all of that, that going on, down, going down 72 toward Chester, but it's in Ward 5. Okay, so those people are sitting there, they have to go grocery shop. Certainly there's land down there uh, that could accommodate that. Um, I, 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 I'm, I'm not real sure what's going to happen uh, as Ward 5 progresses because if we continue to have the kind of housing explosion <laughs> that we have, it's going to tend to get a whole lot larger. Okay, now with the, the new highway coming in, from, come, and, and I just love this way that it's coming. You come off 77, you come 901, you hit uh, the corridor that welcomes you to Rock Hill, and then you have the Albright Road explosion. You can go all the way from 77 to Cherry Road and not break, uh, have to turn or do anything, okay, which is a good thing. Uh, so so that, that too may lead to some people coming in here and saying, oh, okay, uh, yeah, we see the potential.